Hey everyone, Film Secrets here, back at it again with another tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to make a hole in the ground. The assets and 3D models for this video will be in the description. And this is what we'll be making. First, we're going to grab our footage, put it into a new composition, select track camera, wait for eternity, then select a target on the floor of our scene, shift select it, select set ground plane and origin, then right click select it again and click create solid and null. Drag our track solid below the camera, pick whip it to the track solid, change the position to 960 by 540 by 0, then go to the rotation, 270, 0, 0. To correct the scale of our scene, we're going to add a new solid, make it 3D, and then change the scale of our red track solid until the black solid is about the same size as our composition. Yeah, that works. We're going to delete the black solid, unparent the camera to the red solid, and then we're going to create a new solid and add element 3D. Inside of elements, we're going to add our 3D hole from the resource pack and scale it up to 500%. After that, we're going to go to UV mapping and change the UV repeat to 15 by 15. After that, we're going to change the material top to matte shadow and turn off ambient occlusion. We're going to turn that to ignore. Then we're going to go and add a cylinder and just play around with the settings until the height is relatively short but not too short and increase the radius to where it barely passes the hole Then move it down to where it's under the whole 3D layer and then check invert to normals. Then we're going to go to the whole layer and then add the textures from the texture pack to the respective texture slots. After that, we're going to go into the material options, the basic settings, and change the color to a nice gray. Go to the cylinder's materials, go to the UV settings and change the UV repeat to 3x3, three three. then go to and do the exact same thing we did with the whole 3D layer. Looks good. Now let's click OK. Back in After Effects, hide the track solid, and then go into Elements, Group Settings, and add a group null. Scale and position the null until it matches your scene and looks right. After that, go to Render Settings and turn on Ray Traced Ambient Occlusion. And then after we do that, go to the Physical Environment and increase the Lighting Influence to 90%. After that, go to Layer, add a new light, click OK, and increase the intensity and change its position to match your scene's lighting. After that, add Noise, change the amount of noise to 3%, and add Fast Box Blur with an amount blur radius of 0.1. Then add Curves and adjust the curves to match your scene's lighting and color. Activate Motion Blur for the Element 3D layer, and this is the final result. Again, all the resources for this video are in the description below. Until next time, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next out of this channel. Until my next video, goodbye everyone.